I have established a family history website that we, where we um, are, where our family can collaborate in family history, and we've got pictures and stories and so forth for our family there. And and uh, out of the blue, I got a message through that website from Mr. Russ Brialt in Atlanta, um, who said that he had a, some documents that were related to George Lines, and if I, asked if I was a member of the family. And I said I certainly am. I called him on the telephone, he gave me his phone number, I called him on the telephone, and it turns out he had bought some furniture at an estate sale in 1978 that in one of the drawers were these papers. And uh, um, he was thinking of, he's had them all these years, but he was thinking of moving on with them, selling them on the antiquities market or, or, or eBay, but he thought that perhaps the family should deserve to have them. And, and I thought, well, you know, that's a good thing <laughs> because the family really should have them. I drove over there, we met, and he, he gave them to me. He said that he was going to sell them, but something moved on him that he should reach out to the family, and I'm glad that he did. We're very grateful. And now there are so many descendants of George Lyons. How, how can you say, well, now the family has it if I have it? You know, there's 300 or so descendants, you know, so and everyone deserves to see these and to handle them and feel them and see them and smell them. And, and uh, be part of them. So um, rather than have them just in my home, I thought best to, to put them in the public trust.